Didn't I tell you the Warriors pop off in the third quarter? Did I not tell y'all? Y'all need to call me on the phone, and I will tell y'all what they do in the third quarter. Despite all that, series tie 1-1. Raptors, Golden State, Warriors, everybody hurt. I'm hurt. The whole panel's hurt. Let's go. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz Y'all still going to keep playing that track. I ain't told Ryan in the booth to stop playing that Taylor Swift song. Kill me, Ryan. You're Come on, man. <laughs> I didn't tell my <laughs> You can't bust it. You can't bust the alarm. No, listen, 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 listen. We're here, man. NBA at Buzz, at the TV, playoff, at the show, and whatnot, man. There's a whole lot of basketball going on. There's only one game left, but it's the biggest game of the year, man. Before I get started ranting and raving like I usually do, I'm going to start with the panel to the far left. As my boy, man, East Coast Finest, man. Yes, that sir. man with the beard, man, the chiseled jaw, man. man. Spike Reed, what's good, boy? Yeah. Man, chill man, hey, 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 what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, yeah, man, it's gonna be real this round, it's gonna be, uh, oh, I got a lot to say, man, this is one of those instances where I got a whole lot to say, so I'm gonna save it for the show, I got a lot to say. Um, and next, and ne right next to him is my man and the young phenom, man, listen, college, college bound, got mm. his whole life ahead of him, you know what yeah, I mean, young whippersnapper, yeah, you know I mean, still with his girl going strong, coming up on a year before you even know it, David H. Blow, what up, boy? It's been a year. Oh! There you go. It's been a year. I was, you think, I was testing you. You I think I don't know? I was testing you. You're testing me. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. You got to add one more, though. You got to add one more. There we go. Recently graduated. Oh, I'm cool, proud of you, man. Seriously, congratulations, Yesterday. young man. Seriously, mm -hmm. you, a good, Thank you. You, you, you a good yeah, student, though. It wasn't like I was worried or anything like that, but it still is an achievement. Really it is an achievement that is not to be <laughs> overlooked with all these people walking around in these streets acting like you don't need school mm -hmm. and you don't need education. All you got to do is walk around and invent Facebook, and that's all you got to do, and you can quit. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's people like David Bloom that believe you still need an education to succeed in Damn life. Damn right you do. Amen. Damn. Amen. Damn. Amen Thank you for going to school and graduating. You're there quite you welcome. I you're quite welcome. All these people walking around tweeting and twitting and Instagramming and Snapchatting, and Snap tweeting, acting like they gonna get Insta famous. And here go David H. Bro, oh, man. rubber to the road, Little hard better. hat, lunch pail. Wow. <laughs> oh, Lord, I man. appreciate seriously, man. I talk uh, about this to my wife all the time. Yo, respect. My wife's in the chat. Shout out to my wife, man. What's good, baby? Heidi, uh, what up? Heidi, what up? Haywood Wong, Star Drew, Dan in the chat. Um, I appreciate y'all, all y'all. But let's get right into it. Uh, topic number Please. one. I just want to get uh. I'll start with, um, let me start with David real quick. Game two mm -hmm. thoughts, and I'm going to go to Spike Reed. Uh, game two thoughts, just overall thoughts on game two. Mm, well, I mean, you know, coming out of the gates, the first quarter, about four, about, uh, about eight minutes in, mm -hmm. pretty low scoring. Mm -hmm. You know, I think with like four left in the first, it was 13, 16, Clay with 11 of those. I think the reason why the Warriors took this game, you know, besides for the excellent third quarter, which I obviously will get into in a yeah. little bit, was the play by Klay Thompson. He scored 25 points mm -hmm. along with Steph Curry's 23. And there wasn't a huge... Like Steph Curry in Game 1, I know they lost, but he dropped 34. Mm -hmm. Here, you know, they're both scoring in the 20s, but Klay Thompson's, you know, early pressure as well as getting out in that third quarter and limiting the points in the second half for the mm -hmm. Raptors really contributed the Warriors to taking the series back home and having a lot of advantage going back to Oracle. I agree. Spike Reed. <sighs> <laughs> Yeah. Man, listen. Yeah. This is the one thing. The, okay. So as far as the game goes, let me just give a really, really short end. As far as the game Even goes. Game. Yeah, as far as the game goes, it was it was cool. Um I'm disgusted with Toronto. Mm -hmm. Super disgusted. I'm gonna really get into that one. Mm -hmm. Um uh, can, can we just can we just establish something real quick? Please. I, I wanna establish where we're putting Steph Curry and what we're gonna give him when he he has this he has this weird thing about him to where Whenever he plays well, he's the greatest ever. Mm -hmm. But whenever he doesn't play well, then he's injured or some excuse that goes with it, right? Yeah, we're going. We're, we're definitely getting to that. We're getting to that him and Clay down the road. I trust me. So we're going to answer all your questions mm -hmm. in this show. Just okay. to let you know, we're going to talk about that in depth. Be okay. In, oh, I, 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 trust me. Because I, I, I okay. Because mm -hmm. I definitely have some uh, oh, major to say. Oh, about say that. say all that ammunition, okay. man. That. That's going to be the icing on the cake. I promise you, I got that. I got I'll him. That. I got him that. and Clay. So give me, but give me your thought. Why are you discussing with the Raptors? You over here all on your high horse coming coming up in here coming mm -hmm. up in here with your backwards hat on oh, yeah, you talking know. trash about the Raptors what the, has the how the Raptors have wronged you how have they forsaken you okay the <laughs> Raptors let's just start off like this no KD sick let me put the quotes up sick Ooh, Steph that sound like you don't believe mm -hmm. that we got Boogie who's I'd say 70% I'll give him we have uh, an injured Kevon Looney 
and we have Clay who got injured towards the end. And essentially with that, the best player on the court is either Iguodala or uh, Draymond. And you still couldn't get it done. You at home, you got the crowd, you got Drake, you got all that. Drizzy. Still couldn't get it done. I'm so sick. They're, they're in the same category of Houston when uh, when KD went down in uh, Game 5. They're in the exact same position. This was the time. This is when you couldn't supposed to strike. This is when you're supposed to get them up out of here. They could not do it. And the thing is, the fact of the matter is, me personally, I believe that Kawhi is better than James Harden is. So, that's just me personally. I believe Kawhi is it's, it's debatable. Uh, yeah, probably. It's debatable. I'd say so. Okay. No, no, because defense has to matter. Bingo. See, everyone, no one talks yeah. because I was a defensive guy. I was never an offensive guy. Everybody yeah. walking around dropping all these points, but my guy, when I'm with the person I'm defending, wouldn't score him. But yeah. nobody cared about that. The primary scorer on their team couldn't score a bucket, but, Evan, but Evan's got no points. See what I'm saying? But no one cares about that. No one cares about defense until they care about defense. Mm-hmm. Facts. So Very defense true. has to matter. So, right? all, so all three of us are in agreement that Kawhi is better than James he is, Harden. He is better. Okay. As an overall player, yeah. yeah. Do I think Harden maybe. Has a better jump shot than Kawhi? Oh, he definitely does. Sure. sure. Oh, yeah, but sure. I think as an overall player, helping yes. a team and being not only a leader, but, you know, carrying a team, I think Kawhi does it way better. I mean, look he where the Raptors the are. Look where look where the Rockets are. You're right. They had that great chance to capitalize, and they didn't. KD was out, and now with the Raptors here, you got all these players. The Warriors are probably the lowest they've been since... Since, I guess, blowing that 3-1 lead, really as a team morale, yeah. <laughs> as team energy, you know, as team health. And but, the Raptors, they, they capitalized that on game was, one. It, the whole game, is the, it was the 18-0 run, though. It's not oh, like, my God, yeah. Spike Reed over here acting like they just 20. collapsed. It was, it was 20. I don't even want to. I don't even, I, like this. The <laughs> 18, 18 0 run is what got them up out of there. But Spike Reed act like they, got, they lost by five points, man. I don't care. If they lo- I don't care if they lost by half a point. A loss is a loss is a loss. But you see, but this, this, a loss is a loss. But listen, both of y'all got both of y'all, y'all. Y'all didn't miss me with all that nonsense. Y'all overreacted like the, y'all before. Remember when we get the story series started? Y'all didn't think they had a chance, did y'all? No. See, now y'all come in here because what happened, this is going to tell you what happened to both of y'all. Well, y'all sitting at John's house, y'all watching. Let me tell you what happened. Mm-hmm. When they won game one, you yeah. sitting back now being like, oh, hold on now, wait a minute now. I, did, I, never, well, I never said they was going to win well, after that, though. First of all, there was no way yeah, they was winning after that. Yes and no, Spike Reed. Are you mad because you know this is the, are you mad because this is the Warriors that beat them? Oh, well, you wouldn't be mad if it was any other team. I mean, you? I mean that's pretty evident. That's what that's, it is, right? Because I know how you feel. Because yeah. that's what it really is. You're you're more mad at them because it's the Warriors they let go. I, ju- I can just let me just let me put this. Which I, can, is I, can, I can just imagine this was like the 2017 Cavs and this happened. Like this would have been this would have been gold if this was this Warriors team and all these mysterious injuries happened with the 2017 Cavs. It would have been nothing. This would have been over. But the fact that it yeah. is this Kawhi Leonard Raptors and Kawhi was born. He had 34, but in the fourth quarter this. He, he missed two big clutch threes. You know what I'm saying? That and one three that uh, Siakam missed in the corner. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one was huge. That's what I'm saying. I think they'd have cut it to two if he hit that. That's, but I'm saying, damn, that one was a huge. The, the fact, the fact that Golden State mm. even came back and went on a 20 or some unheard of. That's never been done in the finals. A fact that has never been done in the finals ever. 20-0 run. It was a poor execution, though. 20 oh could they couldn't buy a bucket they would have had a better chance at putting Drake in the uniform and let him shoot a three see now you get that see now you get that now you get that you see, see? see, see you don't saying? watch Kentucky now basketball you, 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 haven't, you haven't seen what he did Drake man. is doo doo man that, that's, uh, that's, that's my point though I told, that, I, that's my point Drake is so trash that they would have still had a better chance at putting him on the court to get a bucket a single bucket I tell you people, can't get a bucket. I want to see Drake go up against all of those guys, man. No, Drake's trash. I mean, he would get he get torched, but I bet you. I just I just love to one see bucket. that. Just I mean, as a fan, Drake's good at one thing, and he's really good at it. And that's one of those things about Drake. Drake's if y'all don't really if you really watch Drake closely and not fanboy out, Drake's a nerd. Sure. He's a super. Oh, he's, a God, su- yeah. he's a super nerd. He's just a super talented guy. That's why when he was yeah. up when he's up in Toronto, if you, you listen to his music, you're hearing his music. How he always was this because you imagine a little ethically ambiguous kid up in Toronto, around all these white kids yeah. and nobody paying him attention. So he just kept writing his little lyrics. Yeah. Kept getting this by his little. Look at how Drake looks. Drake is goofy looking. Yeah, for sure. So what mm-hmm. happened was sure. he started getting really good. Yeah. And he started spitting bars, and getting even better, and getting mm-hmm. even really good. And he's like, okay, I'm pretty good now. Nobody still cared though. Yeah. Then he gets signed. Wayne got that Wayne. That's when Weezy was hot too. Yeah. That's when Weezy was popping. Man. That's when Cash Money and all that, whatever, with all, you know what I mean? That's when it was just on and popping. Right, the lollipop time, so now Drake got everybody fooled the like lollipop. he's some cool dude, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But you just gotta watch Drake. Drake's a nerd, man. Drake can't hoop. 
The Drake, <laughs> oh, and, no, and he the, can't. And man. the Drake curse <laughs> is, is creeping up slowly Ooh. again. So that would, it picked back up with Anthony Joshua. And then yeah, it just kept, man. And then it carried on yeah, until the man. Raptors. That's what happened. It's weird, man. Like I said, um, quick uh, question: What's worse, the Drake curse or the Kardashian curse? Kardashian curse is way worse. Okay, because Drake, because Drake seems still got to the finals. You're right. Yeah, true. You're right. You, you, you can you can be dating a Kardashian and then well, all then, of a sudden lose again, your legs. But, but in that same breath, the Cavs made it to the finals and she was dating Tristan. Yeah, but yeah. that was that was this, in spite of that was despite Tristan Thompson's contribution though. That's you see, you see what I'm saying? He the, was he was nice be, and trash. The year before he was balling, the year that he started dating uh Chloe, then he uh, got out Yeah, he got Steph. pretty trash. So he, he got out rebounded. He was no, he wasn't because of the curse. He wasn't contributing was points, he wasn't contributing rebounds, he wasn't being the big body they needed him to be. And, and all jokes aside, it's because he got his money and he stopped working out and stopped playing. Oh, basketball. I'm not joking, it was the curse. Trash. The curse too. Trash. Yeah, that, don't, don't forget the curse. You don't tell me he was at by the way, I seen you at Lucky Strike um in Los Angeles a couple weeks ago. And you still look trash too, by the way. Someone's like, yo, that's Tristan Thompson. I go, so? And I bet I get a bet I get a, I bet I get a rebound over him right now. I bet I would. Yep. Oh, so walking sure. around with his little private party while these girls are looking like a Kardashian. Bro, you was with a Kardashian. I got dude. Yeah. I got <laughs> I, I personally Bloom, I got, you should have seen it, Bloom. You'd have been disgusted. I got, uh, disgusted. I got David out rebound to Tristan. Get I to could. On the block, oh, yeah, easy. I could. I Please. That's, a, that's, a, that's a high school graduate, right? Yeah. They going to college. Oh, what have you done, Tristan? But anyways, <laughs> oh, so, we got, so we got, um, appreciate everybody, man. That's an official challenge to Tristan <laughs> yeah. Thompson What's that really I, Come on, man. I'm 18 and I'm 5'4". I'll box him out box or rebound him out. Oh, cool. Rebound him out on the low block. I got my money easy, on that man. one. What's up, When you trash, you trash. I got my ball right here. What's up, I told you I seen him on Lucky and I was like, this dude, I was disgusted. Shout out to G, man. Me and G were like... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, G, I heard, still, I heard G was whack. mad about it. What up, G? What up? <laughs> I heard G was yeah, mad yeah. about it. Everybody after Buzz, watching after Buzz, please like and subscribe. Five stars on iTunes, thumbs up, subscribe, like everything after Buzz, man. You get all kinds of basketball stuff, all kinds of things after yes, Buzz. Sir. I appreciate mm-hmm. y'all. Thanks for letting us be the ESPN of TV talk. With yes, that being sir. said, today's debate of the day, does a tattoo of like an enemy take away like the venom <laughs> of your position? That's like the debate I want to have with y'all today. Like, can you, are you allowed to have a team but also have like tattoos of like a rival team and, and does your does your huh. does your do, 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 do you lose a little venom with your 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 your, your cheering and your rooting and your hooting and your hollering and your trash talk does your trash talk lose venom because you have the team with trash talking on your body permanently mm. David mm. Bloom what say you can, are you can you are you still allowed to trash talk well I mean that kind of brings up this thing like a lot of people growing up you know wanting to be in the NBA you don't get a choice where you go True. You're drafted wherever the hell you're drafted. Mm-hmm. If you're great, you're drafted to a team that sucks. If you suck, you're drafted to a team that's probably all right. And you know, a lot of people, you know, grow up like um, I'm trying to like they grow up as fans of teams that just did not draft them. So mm-hmm. you know, whether they're in the league, whether they're in college, they'll go get a tattoo of that team. A lot of people do it. This isn't basketball to basketball, but mm-hmm. DeAndre Jordan has the Astros logo because, you know, he's from Houston. See, that's respectable, though. Mm-hmm. He was yeah. never a baseball right there. player. But see, he was never a baseball player, but he still has a tattoo of another team from another city see, I, that's mm-hmm. acceptable. on his shoulder. So my, my whole thing, Spike, what say you? Because my whole thing is you can't do that. Oh, I agree 100%. Because I mean, cause, cause let's be honest. The reason why he did it is because he, deep down, never thought Toronto would get to the finals. No. And no, that's what it really comes down to. I don't care what to. he says. That, it's kind of, that, those tattoos is Drake snitching on himself. Period. Because he There's no way no, he did. There's no way he thought where's he'd be in that position. Tattoo? Where's, where's the T-Mac tattoo? Because those are his guys. Like, he I'm loves saying. KD and he loves um, Steph Curry. He never thought in the minis, all that hooting and hollering and cheering. He never thought they he, would get to the finals. He even, he even said in one of the... Uh, the um, uh, what was what, that one song they had? Uh, looking for revenge. That song. He actually said something about Draymond and the uh, Warriors practicing at my house. He said it in a box. Dang. So you like? Oh. I, I'm I'm really surprised nobody brought that up at this point. That Drake really has. He's gas Golden State up to the point that he has him in his lyrics. So the fact that he has a tattoo of him has him in his lyrics. No, he re, in reality he is completely eliminated from talking trash to them. But he gets away with it anyway because he's Drake. So to put this in perspective, Bloom, that's like you right now having a Lakers number jersey on you right now. Yeah. See, would you? Would you? I couldn't see you doing that. See, I couldn't. You but couldn't if I did, that. I couldn't. No, you're exactly right. I couldn't come out here and trash talk. 
can't do any it. team. Can't, right? I couldn't. No, like, no, I couldn't no. wear this and then, like, like pull up my sleeve. Shaq tattoo, and I'm like, Shaq and Kobe, like, back to back. <laughs> like, man, like, lethal weapon cover. Like, doing that and then can't, trash talk to both it. of them. I couldn't do that. Yeah, that's my only thing. I'm saying, like, did you do you, but you can't trash talk, though. You, you're tatted yeah. up. See, Drake, <laughs> Drake's, you know, he's nuts and he goes all out, but he's a realistic Raptors fan. You're right. He never, ever, ever thought no he would have the Raptors. No way. Let alone in the in the era of the Warriors no still in the way. championship. He's like, oh, I'll wait till you know, like the Blazers are good or the Spurs yeah. are good again, and we'll face them. And ah, no one's gonna care about the Warriors anymore. KD will be done. Steph will be done. Mm. You know that the, the Hampton Five, they'll be all done. Why do you see? You know, why you say that? Because you hate it. Just because you hate it. So much. Just because you hate it. Oh, I hate it too, man. I hate it too. But it's just oh, it's awful. I told you I never forget it. I was like, what? Did, what did they call? I was like literally inquiring to Christina. Shout out to your girl. And I was like, uh, I was like, girl, why did he call me that? Because she's a warrior. Oh, they met in the Hamptons. She was like, oh, they met. She said, oh, they met in the Hamptons. Confidently, I said, no. Oh, duh, easy. They met in the Hamptons. No. 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 I hate it so much. You gotta be kidding me. So, anyways, next topic. I wanted y'all to talk about. See, because I'm not. I don't believe in karma. I think that's the thing that just takes away from the higher power. So everyone likes to throw things around to like explain why things are. So they come up with this thing called karma, and that's and we use things that are not things that we don't even we don't even really truly believe in the whole thing that where karma comes from. But everyone just says karma because they know about karma. You do one thing bad because I know. A whole lot of people do a whole lot of bad things and they're just very successful. Oh, for mm-hmm. sure. So I ain't want y'all oh, hear about sure. So what's karma? So you do something bad, right? And then you get to have success for 50 years and then you die of a heart attack? Mm. Is that really karma? Nah. Not really. Nah. Right? Karma, you're supposed to do something bad and tomorrow you hit by a car, right? That's karma, That's, right? So my thing it's about the karma, karma, it, karma right? Because, yeah. I hate when people say karma. Like, yeah. I go, yo, so and so is popping. What are you talking about? They're going to get theirs eventually, maybe, yeah. possibly. But anyway, so I ask, is karma real? Because I hate when players flail and kick and flip and do kung fu. To mm-hmm. get it and get a foul call, so <laughs> it's, karma, it's, it's, it's karma real. Clay Thompson did a little leg kick out, like roundhouse kick, mm-hmm. somersault, and he pulls his hamstring. I say to you, Dave Bloom, is that just a freak accident, or is this chickens coming home in the roost of how they always play and how they always get calls? What say you? If you had to put your money on it, a few shekels, a few ducats, what do you think? I will about put a that? few shekels. What would you say that is? I got is that, is 20 that of them in my wallet. Is that karma? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Is, that, is that karma? My God, this is such a deep, deep, deep question. It is, it is. Well, see, the thing about karma is what a lot of people like to do and what, you know, people, humans have been doing for generations and millennia is cause is finding causation and correlation between two events that have no correlation. Correct. Causation mm-hmm. between one event that causes another event that are completely, you know, non-related. What Clay Thompson did with his leg and Ooh. Clay Thompson getting injured you could you can make a correlation. You know, I can make a correlation that it's weird. you know, I smack this table and then someone runs in and it's something completely different, but it's against me. Yep. There's a difference between, you know, Clay Thompson or a player. It's like it's like when Tony Allen, a bunch of bunch of years ago, if you remember, the, wow. the play stopped, he was on the Celtics, he goes up for a dunk, yep. right? That was a dumb thing. That. He falls down, mm-hmm. I think broke his leg or wow. arm or something. Mm-hmm. That's not karma, no. but that is a correlation. That's, you know, that's causality. He, yeah. he went for the dunk when he shouldn't have done that. Mm. You know, his punishment, his direct punishment from his action mm. was getting the injury. The difference between Clay is his injury right now isn't a direct punishment from his action. His action was completely separate. And yes, you can look and you can say, oh, oh, you know, Clay Thompson did this. Now he gets what he deserves. He was trying to draw contact. Yeah. But the thing is, there's really, there's really no... There's no, I mean, it's hard to say wow. because it's it's I, I such follow, a big. I, oh, I, I know what you're saying, but I'm shocked you're saying, saying it. Yeah. But there's no, it's there's, it's hard to say if if there's a force, if there's not a force. That's not what I'm claiming here. But what I'm saying is, I do, I don't think that there's any sort of karma here that happens anywhere. It's just random events. Clay got hurt. Clay did this. Players do this. Players do bad. So- I agree. I agree. Because I'm man. not a karma guy, but I am a guy that's like, don't do that kind of stuff, bro. Because yeah. chick, like, put it like this, Spike. T- t- I want you to answer that as well. Like, Spike, he deliberately kicked out yeah. his leg in an exaggerated fashion yeah. in order to draw a foul, yeah. and he is injured now. Listen, Clay taught. If, honestly, if it was anybody else besides Clay or Draymond, because I mean, I, and and let me let me be very clear before I make my statement. Let me be very very clear. Mm-hmm. I do not wish injury on any athlete. You should oh, never. Course, course I you would don't. never, as an athlete myself, I would never no, wish injury no. on never, anybody. So let me be very clear about that. But what I can say, as far as the karma part, he kind of had this coming. He kind of had it coming. And the reason why I say he kind of had it coming is let's date back to 2016, my mm. favorite my favorite year for obvious reasons. Yeah. Uh, oh, 2016. 2016. You know, Ken James, baby. 
Yeah. Big deal. Well, for obvious reasons. <laughs> what what happened? What happened after? Um, what happened after Game Four of that year when they was up three? The one that made them go up three one, and uh, when Draymond kicked LeBron, and Dray and Clay said, I, and I quote, "I guess he got his feelings hurt." So basically, Ooh. Clay, Clay was. Not, not won't say happy, but he was basically insulting LeBron because he got hurt at the moment. No, Clay and don't want that. Like, no, he don't want that work from and, King James. If oh, the, and King James was about to, whoa, whoa, Clay, yeah. Clay had no problem. Oh. He, and then he actually, then he also said the oh. quote. He also said the quote. This is a man's league. That's what he I said. Can't he said Clay it. Thompson said <laughs> this is. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Though. He said, "This is a man's league." So then we we all know what happened after that. We all yeah, we, barbecue we, chicken. We all know what happened after that. But see, if you so, if you poke the bear and then the bear attacks you, that's not karma. That's just that's you just, being an well, idiot. Calls out you, you said. You poke, you poke the bear. You poke the bear. Clint, <laughs> you poke the bear. There's there's a direct correlation between go. poking LeBron Facts. James's feelings and LeBron James coming back three one. Three one. Facts. That's how so it works. Then, so then you go into 2007. Uh. You go to 2017. That was when the uh, the Warriors decided to take the bad boy approach. Steph would get kicked out. Then KD would like find a way to get ejected that game too. It's it just just you know a bunch of foolishness. Clay was right there the whole time. Remember that that was the point too when uh, Shaq was making fun of JaVale McGee and then uh, with the um, Shaq to the fool thing mm -hmm. and the Warriors. Warriors, Clay included, was one. Oh, you know, I think he's being too mean to JaVale. Absolutely. And, and they had like Shaq's mom call him up. And Absolutely. Had, he had to stop the to call the dogs yeah, off. I'm saying all this for a purpose because it's building up. So now we go into this. So uh, go into all the foolishness Clay has done last year, bringing into this year. Okay. So Clay Thompson has built up this type of karma, even in. Uh, Earlier this year, he like got on Golden State's fans because they didn't uh, shame on him for because that because they didn't cheer for him because like some some and let, me, and let me tell you why they weren't cheering is because this because you guys have raised the prices. This is this is a little thing that a lot of people want to talk about because it's a mm -hmm. little it's a it's a, it's a it's an interesting theory of mine, but I'm pretty sure it's accurate theory. They've raised the prices so much at Oracle, the fan base has changed. Oh, for sure. Because, oh, my God. You see, remember how it used to be? You were able to get a ticket now. I look this kind of stuff up. They raise things up so much that their fan base has changed from the rabid fan base to a more bougie, high-class mm -hmm. fan base who's not that impressed that will mm -hmm. go out for cocktails if you're not good. For sure. That's why they aren't cheering. Because they're because they are they they there's not the same fans. Sure. Isn't that the tradition so, of the game though? Every most teams that do really really well, you know, they raise their prices yep. in order so that they can have fans like and this. that's cute. So of don't give, don't be mad when they ain't cheering yeah. loud. So don't then, be mad. So then, mm. so couple all that right, and mm. these just a few things I just named off top. So then couple all that together. So then Clay, you brought it all the way into this one defining moment right here mm. when they are in the, when they're playing Toronto. Short hand game two. Short hand. Oh, by the way. Everything up until this point that Golden State has played, they've been the teams that they played against in this little dynasty of theirs. There's been shorthanded, whether it was Kyrie, <laughs> just quotation the dynasty. Kyrie, Damn. Kyrie wow. and Kevin Love being out Damn. on that way up. Damian Lillard was out one year. CP3 was started. out one Mike year. Conley. Mike Conley was out one year. Every single year, Golden State keeps getting all these mysterious, lucky paths to the finals. So then now, what's happening right now with Golden State? Like I said before, I, me personally, I said, you know what, this might be God's way of saying I'm sick of y'all. That it might could be, be. It, or it could be karma, which is pretty much the same thing. But since they got nineteen, since down, they got so. nineteen days off, he might be back with his hamstring here. They, oh, yeah. they have forty-five days off. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A so, year later, when we get Game Three, we might Lord. see Clay healthy again. I like that. I just wanted to get y'all's thoughts on that, man. It's just, it's just. I just think it's funny that um, you, you kick, I don't, you kick this leg out, and then and didn't get the call. <laughs> and didn't get the call. No. But, but that's okay. So I'm going to start with the letter letter, letter grades, man. A little letter grade action right now. You, know, you fine, gentlemen. I want you guys to g give me a letter grade. Grade Drake's mind games throughout the playoffs. Because everyone acting like he has some kind of mystical powers. And, mm. and you know. But has his mind game. Because I think it's actually amazing. But has his mind games work. His shirts have been amazing. His sweatshirts have been amazing. Everything he's done to me has been amazing. But, but grade his performance. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you boss take it. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a let minute. Let me tell you, let me tell me you exactly <laughs> this is, why. This take listen, this is part of you because you 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 think Drake is mediocre. Nope, this is that's not it at all. That's not it at all. Is it deep for Drake, man? Yeah. Let me tell okay. let me tell you why exactly. This is that this yeah, is the like, reason this like is harsh. Deeper. The reason why I didn't throw up the F. <laughs> the reason why is because he is going all out, and I do respect he is, it. Though, he is. But at the end of the day, no matter what he does, these are grown men. These are grown men are. who are the best basketball players in the world on believe. the best yeah. 16 teams in the world. You Not even. Me. How many? Four teams? 
the Raptors played this season. You know, they got the, I mean, the postseason. They got the, the, who the, uh, the Magic. Pit? Yeah, Magic. Uh, yeah. You know, they had the next season, next series against the 76ers. They had a hard to, road, if you ask dudes me. Dudes went to seven. You know, then they had the Bucks. Now they got the Warriors. Sure, sure. He's getting the shirts. He's getting in the faces. He's doing the most that I think you can do. And I think he has rattled maybe one bench player who doesn't really get it. What the hell is he going to do? Because these are grown men. Who are not, who have seen so much trash talk in their day? Who have? I mean, look at look at like. You know these players are sensitive though. And not for the they big, are. They're but not these for are, the biggest rapper nah, in the nah. world. They get so so. These are grown some regular men. Guy. It could be anybody trash talking them. If you're a really good basketball player, which these guys all are, remember this is the best league in the entire you world. Yeah, for sure. They are not phased, and I think Drake gets too. Uh, way too much credit. Way too much credit for how the Raptors mm. have been doing. He's not doing anything. Here's the thing. What, if, what, if, what if he came out tomorrow and was like, yo, Sean Livers is my favorite player of all time? What would you say? All right, man, let me just throw up the air. <laughs> no, but seriously. It does, yeah, but you can't, you can't necessarily. I, I, don't, <laughs> I respect I don't, that. I don't, I, don't, I, I, don't want you, I don't want you to necessarily uh, say that the <laughs> these players don't get rattled because, the you know, whether you want to put KD second, third, best player in the world, Whatever. I mean, he got rattled from a 10-year-old on Instagram. He, that was talk, like, he is he, saying he, it. Yeah, he, he, he will 100% get somebody. Imagine, so he was arguing with a teenage girl on Instagram because she essentially called him trash. He was so heckling Drake last night. That's what I'm saying. So what do you think you're going to do with that? See, Guy yes, standing right in front of him. Yes, so. he does that, and yes, you know, KD is sensitive. Though. KD's an exception, though. He is, but he's, he's not. He's sensitive, and he gets into a lot of trash talk. But he still talk, balls. But he still balls oh, out. Sure, because he's one of the best on the planet. But exactly, he's still, that's but he's how it works. You though. can get you can get rattled, but just because they get whatever rattled is to them, it's not going to affect their Throw game. Throw it off their game, yeah. KD oh, so got called. No, no, KD got called mm -hmm. a cupcake. After he left Oklahoma City, Damn. and when he got the most, he got he was a snake. He got the most hate I've seen anybody get in a long time for a free agency move, and he still won the championship. And yes, it's the Warriors, but he still was balling out and leading the team in many categories. Well, you, what's, what grade do you give Drake's antics? Man, I'm gonna go ahead and give Drake. I'm gonna give him this. Not bad. Right See, yeah, right right him. that's close to this. It's not a good average if he averages yeah, out. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give him. What, a, why? What are you? It's uh, kind of. I mean, similar. Similar to what David said, I mean, yeah, granted, like, he's, like, I'll give it, I'll give him, like, what he did, like, I loved, I love when he wore a Del Curry jersey, that was, like, Cold. that was just so creative, Cold. that was, like, the dopest thing that he's ever done. Real uh, talk. And, I mean, and truthfully, like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a fan, like, you know, I'm, I'm Spike Reed, so, you know, Spike Lee, that's what I got, I'm a, I'm a much bigger fan of Spike, I like what Spike used to do with the Knicks, and, uh, although he would get them cooked, because he's especially with Reggie and Mike all would them Mike. Cook him. Spike would be oh. on the side. Like they would, they'd be <laughs> yeah, over man. here dropping buckets, looking directly at Spike, staring him down, dunking Every on people, bucket. staring down Spike. So I'd give him that. But Spike, I, I guess I give him Spike because he's more of an originator. Drake is like, it's good. You know what? Coach Drake's corny, though. That's you know the what? thing. You know what it is? It's yeah. like MJ and Kobe. Spike's MJ. Drake is Kobe. Hey, cause, it's, cause, it's, I'm going to yeah. try to be just like Drake you, is so but I'm not going to do it as good as you. you have it's to the watch, same thing. Guys, I know you got to watch people. Anybody that's a fan of Drake, watch Drake. Drake is a cornball, man. He's a, he's, a, he's a nerd. I am telling you, he's yeah, a nerd. I don't care what kind of cars he has. I don't care how he raps. He do he's, get rape, though, he, no, he's, he is, but he's a nerd, though. Yeah. He's a nerd with a wraith. <laughs> He's in there. He is the Mark Zuckerberg of rap. Yeah. He is, yeah. man. Just guys, just watch his little mannerisms and stuff when he's cheering. He's a nerd. Uh -huh. You remember when he tried to get in the back of the Miami, uh, the, 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 the back of the locker room? Yeah. yeah. Well, how, did he, how did he look? He looked like a fanboy, right? Oh, he looked man. like a nerd. Did you, did you ever man. see that picture where he's under Demarcus Cousins? Damn, bro. Yeah, 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 man. Cousins yeah, guy, man. Man. Look, I like Drake, but he's he look, a nerd. He oh, like, man. He, he is looks a like, nerd. He looks like the girlfriend when you like show her off the Instagram finally, and, and he's looking up and, and, and he finally says, That was him. And that don't get me great. wrong, man. I like nerds, but the thing about it is, well, for some reason, people act like Drake's cool. Drake's a nerd. Drake's a nerd. He just rap. I'm telling y'all, man. Just watch you watch your boy, man. Spike is cool. Yeah, Spike's cool. Got you. That's the see Spike Spike. That's to me the difference when you see him. On the side, like, that boy like a nerd, man. Mm -hmm. Spike, MJ, Drake, Kobe. But here's, <laughs> but here's the thing, it. though. Here's That's the thing the that makes you know that makes Drake's trash talk a little, you know, a little less than extraordinary. Is yeah, okay, Drake's a Raptors fan, but then again, Drake's always oh, also uh -oh. a Warriors yeah. fan, uh -oh. a on, Heat now. fan, a Cavs fan, yeah. a Kentucky fan, a Duke fan, <laughs> a who won this? A Virginia fan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the baseball team, don't goodness. he? Goodness. Baseball team was like, Whoever's good, another whoever's baseball good team. Good I've seen him on some baseball probably, team. Probably a uh, Sox fan this year because they won. Dodgers fan, the Astros the, fan, whoever, Indians fan, time, Cubs right. fan. He's the biggest bandwagoner in all of pop culture. Agreed. I have not seen a bigger bandwagon in all of pop culture. And when, okay, you can like whoever you want to like, yeah. and we're all going to shame you for it no matter what it because we yeah. hate everybody. Yeah. But just kidding. We love all y'all. But. <laughs> 
But when you bandwagon as a fan, as a you know a pop culture icon, as mm-hmm. like a rapper, as you know as like a celebrity, you're gonna not be taken seriously because if you can loyalty is one of the biggest things in sports, and not necessarily yes by players, but more by fans. If you can't back your team when they're doing bad and you jump around to different teams, when you start backing one team, like, oh, now he's the biggest Raptors fan in the world, nobody takes him seriously. Nobody says, oh, you know what? We better watch out. Drake's going to back his Raptors because once we beat the Raptors, he's going to be a fan of ours again. Well, he's going to start wearing KD jerseys to concerts and wow. get more Warriors <laughs> tattoos. Well said. That's how Drake works. Shred well, well said. Shredding them. Well said. So, yeah, I, w- I want y'all to let her grade uh, Steph Curry's performance through two games. And Spike, I'll start with you so you can talk mm. to me about what you oh, were talking yeah. about Here earlier. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So for two Don't games- be all the way out of pocket either, though. I probably will be. Don't be. Two games. <laughs> two games. Okay. Let me put, I, let me do it like this. Two, so two game, games to the play. The first game. The first game, we're going to go with the B. Okay. Mm-hmm. First mm-hmm. game, he was, he was balling. This game. Are we doing two? Okay. Yeah, I, I want to do I like this, this though. I like this. This game, this game. I'm going to keep it like this, man. B to D. All right. B to D. Like D. That's, and that's listen, generous, man. man. This is generous. Listen, I, this is one thing that I'm, I'm completely sick of. Go. And, and it needs to stop right now. Go. Every single time Steph Curry balls out, he's the greatest player ever. Every single time Steph Curry is terrible, it's Oh, he's injured. It's always some foolishness. At the very first half of the game, all I heard, I heard um, everybody, uh, uh, Doris Burke, everybody said. That's my girl, too. Yeah, shout out to Doris Burke. Mm -hmm. Everybody said, Steph doesn't look right. Steph is sick. That's all I heard the whole game. I'm on on Twitter live tweeting and watching the game. All I'm hearing about, oh, Steph, sir, he doesn't look right because he wasn't doing nothing, right? He wasn't doing nothing. Steph comes back in the third quarter, starts going bananas. Bananas. Starts going off, starts having this normal Steph game. All of a sudden, and I'm seeing, hey, Steph, the best shooter in the world, best player ever. Steph, this is then the third. Fourth quarter. Let me let me let me hit y'all with something real quick. Uh-oh. A little, little yeah. okay, prepared today. Uh-oh, he prepared today. Fourth quarter. <laughs> Steph Curry in the fourth quarter. Zero points. Mm, let that have been my guy from Akron, Ohio. In the fourth quarter, zero points. <laughs> that was your guy from Akron, Ohio. Z- whoa, 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 No, 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 no. You know where Steph... No, no, no. You know where hospital Steph was born. You know where hospital Steph was born in, man. Same one, right. Check this out. Yeah, no. It, I got to throw him like, off yeah, a little bit, man. I, like, I got to throw him off a little bit, man. Oh, me and David Blow. Uh, I'm, 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 if you want to talk about LeBron's clutchness, man, we can go into that, but we're gonna have to save oh, no, that for some other time, man. Wait a minute! What? Oh, oh hell so no! Wait a minute! Clutch? Oh hell no! Oh, oh, was no. I saying he's not? Oh, hell no! Ah. Listen, oh, man. No. Listen, listen. See? See? Oh my God! You're jumping to conclusions. Hold I never up. said LeBron was not clutch. I'm just saying, as of late, it's not been as good as it has been. Oh, You've oh, seen him miss some clutch shots, oh. some clutch free throws, oh, man. How much time we got? 18 minutes. We okay. don't got no time. No, no, Go ahead. Let me, yeah. let me yeah. say yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're getting back on this. Oh, getting away from this. See, okay. I want this for another time because I really want to go oh, in on this. Okay. See, I do think he's clutch, though. That's the thing. Is he oh, is Lord clutch. Jesus, Lord, just help me out. Here. <laughs> but, help me out, Lord. Just help me out, Lord. No, he get that oh, weight up, man. But I do think he's been slacking of late in the clutch department. I've been raising my blood pressure right now. Oh, my God. I'm about to pass out of here. Go. Okay. Okay. Go. This is fun, go, go, go. Let, me this say, is let, fun me just, man. let me just say these facts. These are facts, right? <laughs> so to bring it all back. Fourth mm-hmm. quarter. So again, beginning, step, sick. Just terrible. Everyone recognizes, oh, he's sick, he's sick. Third quarter comes in, starts balling. Steph is cooking. Oh, Steph's greatest in the world. Fourth quarter happens, the most important quarter of the whole game. Steph, Money. zero points, zero rebounds, zero assists, two personal fouls, one technical foul. That's what Steph did in the fourth quarter. You know what happened at the end of the game? Steph Curry is a beast. That's all I'm here. I'm hearing about how great Steph Curry is. Fourth quarter, let that have been LeBron James Whoa. to have zero points, Whoa. zero assists, zero rebounds, two fouls, one technical oh, that's foul. That's why he ain't George. Then, <laughs> then, then, and then the couple at the end of the game, I'm sure both of y'all heard, Ingo Dollar came out talking about some, and, and I quote, I'm doing this to help Steph's yeah, legacy. Yeah, I, I heard that. Can you imagine if J.R. Smith or Tristan Thompson came out and said, I'm <laughs> trying to help LeBron's legacy? LeBron would be crucified, but Steph Curry, no, we'll forget about it. This is why we'll, we'll, we'll forget about it. So I, I, I say all that to say that the Steph nonsense has got to stop. You got to stick with what you're going to do. It's either that he's going to be the greatest, or he's going to be trash, or he's going to be judged by the same standard as everybody else. Mm. Stop saying when he plays garbage that he's hurt. Because he sure wasn't hurt in the third quarter. That's what makes me sick about that unanimous MVP thing. I'm, I'm makes yeah. me sick. I will never get over that he's I'm the so only unanimous MVP. I will never get over that. 
Yeah, I'm never getting He just played. See, the thing is with Steph is you're right. Everybody's so quick to anoint him, but everybody's so quick to, you know, you know, trash on him. Like if Steph Curry has an amazing game and he hits a great shot and, you know, everybody's going nuts. He's the greatest player of the world. He's better, better than he's better than everybody who's ever played ever. Best he can play ever. in any era. Mm -hmm. and he's the best point guard. And he can, you know, he can fly to the moon and back and still hit a shot. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the thing is, once he, you know, once he doesn't do that, we're like, oh, you know what? He's he's just a player in this generation. He works with the system. He's human. He can uh -oh. miss shots. Uh -oh. He needs contact. Excuses. Uh -oh. Right. Oh, I forgot about that one. He can't see. Oh, he can't remember, see. Remember that one? So, no, he need the contacts. Can't see. That was that was one for him. I, I ain't never seen so many excuses for what, one what, dude what, in my life. What we grade, need. What grade would you give him, David Bloom? As you as you continue, your, oh, same um, thing, man. Your, your B. First first game, B. a B. Yeah. I thought he put up some nice numbers, and that's the thing is, I'm not out here saying, oh, because he scored 30 plus, he's the greatest player in the world. What I'm saying is, he has a lot of talent, but to really put Steph in a hard, you know, cement place, he's got a lot of talent, and he can shoot amazingly. His layup game is phenomenal. He mm -hmm. can pass, but he is human. He has games where he doesn't do as well. He has games where he doesn't have enough of a basketball IQ. He has games where he's just not a good enough teammate and he's not moving the ball well. And, you know, he's not hitting shots with Clay. He can go really cold. He is human. Oh, he super is human. Cool. He does have flaws. Mr. He's, Freeze out here. Exactly. But at the same time, the reason why I'll give him a B for that game is because he can put up crazy numbers and crazy shots and do crazy things on you. That's why I think he's one of the best in the league now. But, but he's human. Good. And his second game... Mm. C. So, I'll give him a C. B to C. I'll give him a C. C. I'll give him a C. I mean, yeah, the, the fourth quarter, embarrassing. Disgusting. I Absolutely. was debating between the C and the D. The fourth quarter is just embarrassing. But the reason why, the reason why I know I know Steph is a player, I really do, mm -hmm. enough to say that if they didn't have that lead they had going into the fourth, if they didn't have the great third quarter that they had, Steph would have played better in the fourth. He, mm. Ooh. Uh, no, I know. Right, we not gonna just assume that Steph can go up because I've seen him disappear in four quarters, in particular when they play. I mean, just go back to 2016. I mean, mm. he's disappeared. <laughs> he's disappeared, uh, and especially in that those last closing seconds. Remember, he was the when he it was supposed to be, especially that year. That, that was the unanimous MVP year. That was the year when um, he was like lights out from three. And Kevin, what Love, is this 2016? 2016. That was a 73 Kevin, and nine year. Yeah. Kevin Jeez. Love strapped him on that last play, and you mean to tell me that a uh, unanimous MVP, six foot three, hundred ninety pounds, can't get past Kevin Love? You know what I'm saying? And it, and Kevin Love strapped him. And you so, know he don't play no D. That's what I'm saying. So we we can't. He I'm couldn't, not, he I'm couldn't not go to corpse. Just, yeah, I'm not going to just assume that Steph is going to go off in the fourth quarter. Like, um, I can't but that's the that thing. One. That's the thing with the Warriors, though, is that's their mentality. They peak in the third quarter. No, they sure. always do. Third quarter, quarter, fam. They are the they are the best third quarter team in, in the entire history. NBA. Oh, for sure. In history, not the NBA. They come, in history. They come out of the gates no matter what lead you got no on matter. them. They come out of the gates out of the second half and they just they start scoring. Their defense goes better. Yep. Something Steve Kerr is doing in that locker room. Third quarter. <laughs> Between the two the first <laughs> half and the second half, man, they come out and they shoot lights out. Steph Curry is amazing. So once they get to the fourth. And they're leading because most of the time yep. they are. And if they're not, then they got problems. The game was still there's on the, the table, still though. Even it was despite all that nonsense. But there's they played. A... They came back, and you know they went on that that 20 0 and now they're kind of feeling like, all right, you know we can let it go. And for Steph tonight, that was just he just put all of it in the third. And I don't think he's having as good of a finals as he's had in the past. He put all of it in the third, and he just kind of. He let go of it in the fourth. I tell people all the time, there's three things that's guaranteed. Death, taxes, and a Golden State third quarter run. You better believe guaranteed. it. Damn right, man. Guaranteed, it will always be tell that. all the time. Every time. Every single time. And whether it be Steph, whether it be Clay, whether it be KD, whether it be... Or, and the, the, worst, the worst to me is at the end when it's always like... Just like someone foolish, like somebody like uh, like Sean. L <laughs> Not ironically. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> somebody, somebody, someone who has no business going off, oh. but it'll be someone like that that'll go off and then get him right back in the game. So. You mean like Kevon Looney or something? No, yeah, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, he could have easily said Kevon. Why you had to say Sean? Going no, no, at me no, today, man. Yo, it's one of those. It's one of those things. It's one of those things oh, where man, man. Listen, oh, man, listen, man, bro. this uh, listen. It's one of those things where, <laughs> listen, man, the, the Warriors were always going to go on the run. It's how it's how you how you weather the run will dictate if you win the basketball game. Game one, they handled the run really well. They got hit in the mouth in that third quarter, and they they held their own. They um, this game they didn't. It goes back to Oracle. They might not have Clay. 
they still might not have Kevin Durant, even though so they get 18 days off. I mean, so they might have everybody. Yeah, um, Boogie will be better. It'll still be, they'll still be a shorthanded team. I, I, I listen, they still are shorthanded. Toronto, t- put like this Toronto, everyone said they shouldn't even been in this series. They're in this series right now. Uh, Go say Warriors did what they did. It's 1 1. It's completely even now. Um, we, we'll see how that goes. Uh, what? How do you guys think Wednesday will go? Wednesday is going to, I mean, Golden State is going to run him out the building. Think so, uh, I think, I think Golden State's gonna, and, his, and the reason why is because, like, um, well, the first issue, the first main issue with is the man that I think should be playing over in China somewhere is Kyle Lowry. He got to get out the league, man. I'm done with Kyle Lowry. Damn. I don't ever want to. Wow. I don't ever want to see Kyle Lowry in another All Star game. That's a little too much see, now. Hold up. That is way China. too much. Get out of the league. Get out the state. I don't like Go Kyle Lowry, but I'll let you continue. I don't like him, but I'm going to still go crazy. He's not I, the greatest I, point guard in the world or I, I, in the I, league. I like but him as a person, he's from I, Philly. Shout out to Philly. I don't, but I don't outside like him because he got to go. Yeah, I don't like him because he brought like this one, this one side chick that he that he had like. Came into this one bar and we and we we met with her and we, I didn't like her. That's yeah. why I don't like Kyle Lowry. Yeah, I, I don't. I didn't like his selection of side chicks. Listen, I don't, <laughs> no, that's a good and that's what makes real. an NBA player was, was right the, there. I was disgusted. No, that, that's, that's but bit, go ahead. That's though. a very good reason. She was nasty. That, we're gonna put. We're gonna add that to the list she was of reasons rude. why he shouldn't be in the league. Yeah, you're she helping, you're helping he, his cause right yeah, now. Yeah, no, I'm not yes, just saying. Yes. That's why I don't like him. Listen, that's that's gonna be like the fourth, the fourth, the fifth day. You got terrible side chicks. So on top of that, you gotta go. I'm done with Kyle. I'm so. I don't want to see him in the league anymore. He got to go. He got. I, before y- y'all got on me about saying that uh, Damian Lillard was Raymond Felton. Listen, man. Then that's listen, still popping. Do listen. not. If, 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 if Dame in that playoffs was Raymond Felton, then Kyle no. Lowry is Travis Best. He got to go. I'm done. I'm sick of him. Get out the league. Go anywhere. Anywhere. China, Puerto Rico, Japan. Co- any Qatar. Puerto Rico, anywhere. Japan. Get him out of here. I don't even know if Japan got a team. He but said Qatar. Get Kyle Lowry out of my face. I'm done. Oh I don't want to see him play anymore. I at least thought he put up an ounce of a uh, fight against Do you Steph hear Curry. This? I don't want Kyle. Kyle got to go. Kyle got to go. Every other Kyle in any other aspect of life is better than Kyle Lowry. Kyle Reese, anybody else. Kyle got to go. Kyle Bush out of the Kyle, Kyle Bush. Last car, man, I'll let your boy. Any <laughs> other Kyle is better. Get <laughs> Kyle Lowry out of my face, man. David, I'm done. Please don't, I'm done. Do not let this disrespect go on. I tell David, you, so, real talk, side chick. Listen, I, I, listen you, know, you know your side chick's whack when she comes in and says she's Kyle Lowry's side chick. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I was so tight. I said, Heidi, if this girl don't get up out of my face right now. <laughs> truth, truth. I swear to God, fam. Truth is not disrespect. That's said, what I'm saying. Who are you? Truth. Oh, I'm, I'm Kyle Lowry's I said, she just announced herself as Kyle Lowry's side chick? Ain't nothing to be proud of. Jesus, Ain't take nothing. the wheel. Kyle gotta go, man. Kyle gotta go. <laughs> Jesus, take Toronto the wheel. Toronto gotta get him out. I'm done with Kyle. I'm done David, with Kyle. David, why you letting him go? Call him Travis Best. He gotta go. Oh, my God. What? He don't even know where to start. He don't even know where I'm to done. be. I'm done. like, I'm, I'm like. You know how many look, at the, look at the, look at the, look at that face. Oh, I mean, my. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> just to set it up, yeah. to build it up here. Please. Mm-hmm. We got plenty of time. Oh, my God. Okay. Eight minutes is an eternity. It, it really is going to be an eternity in a second. <laughs> seven points game one, and the only, reason he, had, the only reason he had seven is because he hit that last second three. He had four points the whole game. This up until is, man. I'm, I'm going to say facts. I'm going to say the facts. That's, that's all I do, say facts. Oh, my God. Kyle Lowry, mm-hmm. first of all, mm-hmm. belongs in the league. Mm-hmm. Of mm-hmm. course. Of course he does. I could think of a hundred players to push to China before sending Kyle Lowry. Ooh, you said a hundred. Ooh, that's what's up. The starting point guard. Mm-hmm. The starting starting point guard. Mm-hmm. You know how hard it is to become a starting player in the oh, NBA for, sure. for a championship caliber team mm-hmm. who already has one game in the final. Should for he sure. be starting though? That's uh, that's what I was the question. My but he is. Backup to me is better. But he course. is. The yeah, Raptors but... have decided that he's good enough to start, as he has. You know when they had DeRozan. You know. um, I think he started his career. Who well, I like better than Kyle Lowry? Is Kyle Lowry better than Van Fleet? Let's be serious here. I don't think so. That, that's what I'm saying. Let, let's be, be be real with it. I think I think Kyle Lowry, but see, is Kyle he's Lowry in better. his prime better than Van Fleet right now? But we talking about current. Kyle, Kyle Lowry's like five years old. <laughs> we talking about current. Kyle, Kyle Lowry. How long you been in the league? He's Kyle been, Lowry's like he's been in the league for a minute. Pushing over thirty, you, man. That, that's see, that's that's see what I mean. See what I mean? He's I been see. in the league that long, and he got people who actually know the game. Like, oh, uh, he's he's new. But Van, he's but Van Vliet's ball was balling. He's be, but like this, Van Vliet's outplaying him. He's he's dropping Tremend- seventeen off the bench. Tremendously I think Van Van Vliet. Eh, hard name to say. Yeah. Van Vliet has more to fight for in this finals. Has more to fight for on this Raptors. He's team. playing for a bigger contract. Yeah, yeah. playing for a bigger contract. He's a young guy. Kyle Lowry. He's he's not necessarily cemented himself as like the greatest or anything, but he's cemented great. who he is cemented as a player. Good. 
who he is has already been decided, and who he is isn't a guy that needs to be, you know, demoted to China. Dude, Dan, I know he's a guitar. Baby, who is he? Who is Kyle Lowry? Who is you said who he is? Who is he? Please enlighten me. Damn. Who is Kyle Lowry? Kyle Lowry? Would you take? Would you take him for the Clippers? Would you take him? Now, no, no, but, but. Good question. Thank you. But just grand because grand open and grand close. Because he's pushing thirty, and he doesn't match the Clippers. Thirty scheme. is not that old in the NBA. <laughs> no, yes, it is. No, no, no. He got a good seven years. What the Durant's but... thirty, and they say he's in his prime. Yeah, he got a yeah, good. Yeah, but Durant's seven Durant, man. Come on. Oh, you can't say that. No, no, no. You can't say that because listen, they say because thirty is not thirty is different. When when you hit thirty, they say you're in your prime. Yeah, but yeah. hold up, hold up, man. Hold up. Right? Keep talking. Keep talking. Right. Keep talking. What's 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 Russ? Twenty nine. Yeah. Thirty. What's, 30. what's, what's Harden? 30. What's up? Steph Curry's 31. Oh, come on, man. No, you can't say 30. Iggy's 35. LeBron's 34. Kyle Lowry's 33. Oh, Lord. Oh, he's ancient. Okay, yeah. He's... Put him out the pasture. You said he was 30. That's different. 33. He's hey. 400 years old. Oh, my hey, God. Kutsar. One Google search. Katsar, I got a starting point guard in the NBA that you would I wouldn't love. go that far. This is savage. Kyle Lowry, right. take him. That's just take him. savage, man. Take See, him. even at 30, Can you 30, run his though. stat line? What's his stat line? Can you All run right. that? What's yeah. that? Yeah. For, for the loss, <laughs> yeah. for the loss, I got it right here. Kyle Lowry dropping 13 points. Oh, two starting assists. Point. Oh, one starting rebound. point guard. Oh, Damn, Hold up. I got you, y'all. Terrible. Last game in the win. Yes. In the win, keep in yes. mind. In the win. In the win. Was in the Kyle win. Lowry. Damn. Seven points. Seven. Oh. Six rebounds, nine assists. Oh, six rebounds. And you think it should go to China? Some players aren't even averaging oh, one they point. Even spread. They could get a bucket. <laughs> they couldn't get a, couldn't bucket, get a bucket in the NBA in that Chinese He's league. He's not three. But listen, oh, 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 DJ, you in the booth, DJ? Oh, man. Yo, tell me what you said. You said uh, teams get rattled. Would you say elaborate on that? I said teams get rattled. Do to explain by hmm. some fan bases. In the explain, past. explain. Oh, yourself. I'm just gonna throw back to the uh, 20. 20- 18 Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl run where yeah. they uh, at the link Let's go. had the they Minnesota were, Vikings yeah. who just had the biggest no. win of their franchise career. Vikings were, oh, Vikings, Vikings were shook. The stands were shaking, gentlemen. <laughs> the stands were shaking. You already know. Skull. Will, it's the greatest Philly, Super Bowl run I've ever seen. Truly, man. man. True. I'm never going to complain about a Vikings loss, man. Ever. Listen, Ever, man. man. That's before they had Kirk Cousins. Uh, <laughs> that before they had my boy Kirk Cousins. Uh, It'd have been a little different than Kirk Cousins. It's but, been uh, too long, man. <laughs> you know what's coming soon. I'll be like, Kirk Cousins. He but better not do every anything next I'm year. Like, Kirk Cousins. What, is this a football show now? <laughs> listen, 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 listen. You got me excited about Minnesota Kirk Minnesota Vikings preview. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> but no, listen. So it's interesting. He, 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 I think football is different, though. I think, too, like, especially with, with the right crowd, man. Teams can't get a little shook. Yeah. yeah, I don't I don't think Drake is the biggest factor is all these sports so, marketing about, shows so, these shows are telling me is. Oh, go ahead. Go, are, go, are go. We, I'm just, just are we are we saying that Kyle Lowry was rattled by the crowd? Are we, are we his own is home this crowd? The- no. Okay, I just, I just, I just, I, I get what y'all say. I just wanted to keep, I want to keep it on. Uh, I mean, David just ain't gonna let you say he don't belong in the league. That is just that's too much. Hobby I think, I think he's definitely past whatever prime he had. Thirty three. I didn't know he was that. He been in the league that long. That's him and what I'm him saying. and De- yeah, him and DeRozan had a great, you know, a great I like connection. Demar though. Demar. I, he I was, helped Demar become a better player. He helped create shots for Demar. He helped pass to Demar, and he could score on his I'm own. I'm still mad they got rid of him over Kyle Lowry though. Tomorrow oh. to me was a better Kyle. player. Yeah, Go but ahead. would you take Kyle Lowry Who for said? Kawhi Leonard? Would you really take that? No. See, that's why. But, that's but why they, they had to get rid of him. I love, I love they y'all, y'all, Kawhi out of y'all no proving what. my point, by the way. I, I am, but I don't want to think he can't be in the league. I'm I think done. I think I'm your point is. I think if you drew back your point, I don't think Kyle Lowry right now is you know a big X factor for the Raptors. But I think in the past, he's Kyle a, Lowry has helped the Raptors. X Y Z. He's been a, he's been a top two, no top factor. three player on the team for many, many, many years. Listen, and Kyle the reason why they're not on Wednesday. I'm called booking. <laughs> okay, calm down. Both of you. Oh, you, lo- oh, you this spectrum, this oh, spectrum. Oh, where they need to be oh, right in the middle. What's your boy now? Damn, this is all I took. Fifty five. You put a uh, gun to Kyle Lowry's mama's head and said, oh, Kyle, Kyle, oh, drop 40. Oh, Don't say fit, drop 40. Or your mother's dead? Or your mother's gone. Oh, my God. He's going to come out with 17. Oh, That's my God. I I'm, cannot, I'm done with Kyle. I'm done with Kyle. That, that I'm is the, done with Kyle Lowry. The thing with Kyle Lowry, too, is he's one of those... He's one of those point guards that nowadays he doesn't rely on his shot as much. He's the type of point guard go that to more the of a, go to the hole. Hmm? Go to the hole. Go get some layups. Go pass. Go you know be big on the glass. But 
He's not the type of point guard. He needs to go to a treadmill. That's what he needs to go to. Why does he look pudgy? He's so out of shape. That's what he needs to do. That's what makes the two things that make me annoyed about Kyle Lowry more than anything is that. Why is he out of shape? He shouldn't be out of shape, man. You're an NBA player. You should be in shape. You can you can you can hire a nutritionist, a dietitian, a personal trainer, like a physical therapist. He's like he's like a short Boris Diaz. Like he's just like out of shape. But Why nothing. is he out of shape? It's but so nothing. annoying. I'm done. I'm, 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 Kyle I'm, I'm Lowry, done with Kyle side chick. I was like, Heidi, if you don't get this girl out of my face. And they're gonna lose. So I say all that to say they're gonna lose game three because of Kyle Lowry. Wait, so what, who do you think? What do you think is gonna happen on Wednesday, Dave Bloom? I think they're going to lose game three, but not because of Kyle Lowry. Seriously, uh, right? He's uh, being too harsh, man. I think the reason why uh, the Raptors watch. lose game three is the one, the intensity from the Oracle crowd. Mm hmm. It is one of the toughest places to play, mm-hmm. especially in the finals. This is the first time they're seeing their Warriors team, you know, since that since that Blazer series. And now they're coming back after the sweep. It's 1-1. And the momentum of winning a game and then coming back home, it's the scariest thing for the road team. What, 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 once what's, even, what's, what's even more scary is Kyle Lohr dropping two points. Do you, That's going to be do, even do, more scary. Do you, do, you have to, do, you, would you, do you feel the same way if Klay Thompson doesn't play? Do you feel the same way? If Klay Thompson doesn't play... You know, I think it'll be a much closer game if he doesn't play. If Clay Thompson doesn't play, yeah. But I think even if Clay Thompson doesn't play, it's the energy of the crowd. You know, I think Steph's gonna step up and have a much bigger game. He's gonna have more fourth quarter points than zero. I think the third quarter runs are even st- third quarter runs are even stronger when they come out of the gates at Oracle. And I think you know, I think Demarcus Cousins will provide what he needs. I think Iggy will pro- will provide enough on both ends of the ball. And yeah. I think the Warriors. I don't think this one's hard for him. I think they come out of the gates, you know, winning. I think they're up at halftime. I think they're way up at the third. And if the Raptors chip away at the fourth, that's just kind of how the Warriors work. But I really do think the Warriors are going to take this one. There you go. It's too, they're too intense, man. They're that, too intense that, of a team. With that being said, we're going to get up out of here. Yo, Spike Reed, tell the lovely people at home where they can find you, man. Holler me at Spike, S-P-I-K-E-R-E-D, Spike Reed on IG. Get at me. Oh, man. David H. Bloom. You're right. David H. Bloom, <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, man. He ain't never owned it, though. <laughs> but you can still add him. He will respond, but he ain't never on it. You bet. On it. I am on he, it. He too busy. He too busy. I mean, listen, he got school going up, man. Yeah, yeah that's true. He got things that going is true, on, man. man. He's a busy man, but he will respond. He'll, he'll never repost me. He too cool for me. That's he will. He too cool. He ain't never repost oh, me. Man. Man. I get it. A repost? I wish I could repost David Blue. I get it. I'll uh, be uh, you'll see. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Kyle Lowry, side chick. Um, <laughs> shout out to Kyle uh, Lowry. No, man. no, no shout out to Kyle. No. I am officially shouting out Kyle Lowry at the end of this show, man. You don't deserve a shout out, Kyle. You don't mean it. Oh, baby, yeah. man, man. It's Stay the, in the league, man. Nah. It's Instagram and Twitter. They don't allow you. Talking about I'm, 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 I said she did not announce her. We out, man. Trash. <laughs> Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, <laughs> and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to After Buzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.